and at the same time we would know that I have to read a certain chapter of the Quran or a surah of the Quran in every unit of prayer Surah Al-Fatiha in it Allah has chosen to mention certain qualities and names of himself Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim what does it mean the most merciful the most merciful two different types of mercy Rahman is the mercy of Allah that encompasses absolutely everything. Those who believe, those who don't believe, all other creatures of Allah, everything that Allah's made, Ar-Rahman, He is merciful in an all-encompassing way. And Ar-Rahim is a specialized mercy for those who believed in Him. So it's not like Allah's mercy is only for those who believe. There is a specialized mercy for those who believe. But look at the mercy of Allah upon everyone and everything. It's there. He's merciful. That's why we are on earth. If Allah had to punish us for our sins immediately, we wouldn't be existing. But Allah says, no, no, no. I give you a chance. A chance to do what? Turn to me. Seek forgiveness. You will be forgiven. It's never too late. You breathing. Your heart is beating. Subhanallah. Turn to me. In what? Just say, oh Allah, forgive me. I'm weak. What I did was wrong. I won't do it again. I want you to forgive me. That's it. Allah says, you're forgiven. Just with those words. You know, we're taught to repeat istighfar, this repentance and seeking forgiveness. We're taught to repeat the seeking of forgiveness many times. Not because we're doubting the mercy of Allah. The first time you ever said it, it's gone. It's wiped out. Second, third, fourth, fifth time. What's happening? Elevation of status. So you repeat it a hundred times. Not because I'm doubting whether Allah's forgiven me or not. Don't let yourself... Don't let yourself swim in doubt. Doubt is from shaitan. The devil attacked us initially, making us commit the sin. And then when we're seeking forgiveness of Allah, he makes us think, nah, you're not going to be forgiven. That's even worse than the sin itself. The first time you say, oh Allah, forgive me. It is gone. It's gone. Allah is the most merciful. If, if you come to me for something wrong that you've done, and if I can tell you, listen, my brother, don't worry, it's okay, forgiven. Forgiven even before you did what you did. I've said it to some people. In fact, I believe it. It's, it's okay. You do whatever you want, you're forgiven. If a human being can tell you that, first time you said it, would you need to repeat it again and again and again and again? No. So you don't need to repeat it with Allah, but you're taught to repeat it because it's an elevation of status with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my brothers, my sisters, don't doubt the mercy of Allah. I was saying moments ago, preparation for death is not simple. But when you're a believer, you are convinced in your heart, no matter what I've done in my life, I, I know that I'm going to a Lord who's most forgiving, most merciful, who is kind and compassionate, who will forgive me because I said, oh my Lord, forgive me. I know I'm going to that Lord. So now, now what happens? Now you look forward to it. And that's why Allah Almighty has taught us, Man ahabba liqa Allahi, ahabba Allahu liqa. Whoever is looking forward with love, to the meeting with Allah, Allah looks forward with love to the meeting with that person. Whoa. Would you love to meet Allah? Well, in that case, Allah loves to meet you. Are you looking forward to the meeting with Allah? Well, Allah is waiting for you. Subhanallah.